or don't get mad at me, but uh Okay. I'll try. Halftime show. I look, I know you turned it down in 2019. So did Rihanna though. I and know. clearly she came back around. So would you ever consider it again? I never say never about anything. All right, this is your Odyssey check-in. I am here with Pink, and I was thinking about you the other day. You were like the Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you were like the um the the pop version of like a Jay-Z, I feel like, wow. because you've been putting out not just songs, but massive hits for so, so long. And I know this is kind of a, a cliche question, but do you feel like there really is any key to that longevity? Hmm. I think it works differently for everybody. I think you have to want it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and for me, I think mine is a very particular deal because for me, I think it's all about the touring. I think yeah. it's about being a a great performer. I'm not saying I'm great. I'm just saying about the the desire to be a great performer. And, you know, we pound the pavement. I've yeah. been pounding the pavement for years and years and years. And instead of focusing on um, number ones or how popular can I be or how present do I need to be, content, 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 all that, it's more about like, dude, come see a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come see a show. Cool. So is the goal then like just to be, you know, Elton John 75 still pushing out these hits? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I, I look at performing as group therapy. This whole thing feels like at this point, I wanted to be a social worker when I was little. And now I feel like we're kind of all in this group therapy deal where the people that have been coming to my shows, a lot of them I've seen their faces since I was 20 years old. They've been at all the show and we've been growing up together and and it is music is medicine and it's and it's I'm being very, very vulnerable and very honest in my songwriting and it it resonates with people. We're all having this terribly awesome human experience and we get to cry together and heal together. It's it's fucking beautiful. That is awesome. Do you do you feel like you still love music, your music, the music industry as much as when you were first getting started i feel like it's i don't so know that hard. i ever loved the music industry yeah. um i'm glad to be a part of it i was glad to not be in the mcdonald's industry anymore I, although i was a fantastic drive through girl <laughs> i had the, Janet the jackson voice. microphone yeah. yeah i probably gave away a lot more stuff than i charged for but uh what what was the question <laughs> I, I just i think it's so hard to I start stay. Ta i started thinking about hash browns yeah yeah That'll throw anybody off. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like it's so hard to stay passionate about one thing like so, so intensely forever. I love the creative process. Yeah. I love writing songs. I love collaborating with people. I get to work with the coolest people in the world. We share our stories. Songwriting is like, it's, hey, how are you? So what was the worst thing that ever happened to you as a kid? Yeah. And it's instant. It's it. It's it's no bullshit. It's just it's an authentic connection and we're trying to see where we come together that we can make magic and and um i just yeah you just i love performing too i like to push my body i like to push myself i like to i want to be the best yeah i want to be the best that i can be not the best that ever did it i want to be the best that i can be in this one precious life i i, I feel like with my career, like I, I still love radio, but now if you ask me, oh, what's your favorite thing about your job? I would say without hesitation, the life it provides for my son and mm -hmm. my family. Mm -hmm. Whereas like four years ago, I'd be like, oh, artist interviews or whatever. So has has the thing that drives you or the thing that you like the most about your career, has that changed? Yeah, it has. It, my favorite thing became w walking through the world with my family. I get to take my kids on tour. I get yeah. to go around the world with my children. I am so lucky to be able to do that yeah. and to be able to make space for that and to be able to make the schedule. And I mean, walking with them through the world is my favorite thing I've ever done. Music was never ev all of it. It was never, it was for a while, but it was my way out. I just needed a way out. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is how I came into this world with this voice and, and this need for connection. But once I had a family, it's, it does change. It's like, and for me, it's not even about the life we can provide. It's, it's wonderful to be able to pay your bills and have nice things, but we'd be happy anywhere. Do you feel like in the, in the time you've started 
uh, you've seen a change in the industry with how women are viewed and treated like substantial. Not, I mean, it's never going to be enough, but do you feel like you've seen a change? It's not perfect, but yeah. also that's interesting because I'm over here. I'm over here doing this. Yeah. I don't know exactly what young girls are going through now. I don't know wh how it is for them, yeah. but I see girls like Lizzo and Billie Eilish and so many, I mean, so many just doing it their way and <clears throat> running it. Yeah. running the game and yeah. so i imagine that it must be different but we're still pitted against each other everybody still wants a feud yeah and that sucks that sucks because that's not what it's about i mean they're still saying in an interview to me where i just worked for three years on my heart and soul of a project i'm so proud of my album my father died and i was able to put a song together about it and you're asking me what i think about madonna's face that is not progress. Yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't be talking about Madonna's face. We should be talking about all the badass shit that woman did for the rest of us to come along after her. That's not progress. Right. That's so, not progress. That's clickbait. So what what has been the the hardest questions you've been hit with from your kids then, I guess, up till up to this oh, point? Um, she asked me recently um why I fight. And that was an interesting conversation between the two of us. She asked me why, because we get death threats and all kinds of things, a lot of opinions. And um, yeah, I had to explain to her about helping people and having responsibility if you have a platform and, and rights and the suffragette movement and um, racial inequality. And I think these are conversations that every parent should have to have, yeah. not just the ones it affects. Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. Um, I mean, it is or it isn't. We don't know what we're doing. I have a tote bag that says I actually have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Totally. It, it's I use crazy. it a lot. It really is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. Every situation you walk away from, you're like, did I do my child justice? Did I? Did that, that? land? Because yeah. I feel like I nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the you don't. You're like, I could have done way better. There. I you really know? failed at that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you may not know this, but uh, this year is the 20th anniversary of your cameo in uh, Charlie's Angels. Wow. Yeah. Full throttle. Have the kids seen that? It's been no. 20 years. I know. Are we going to break it out and that. show them? I mean, as long as they don't watch Catacombs, uh, they can watch whatever <laughs> they want. That movie was so bad. Um yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it seems appropriate. Yeah. If they're watching Marvel films, then they can totally watch Charlie's Seriously. Angels. Absolutely. That's a good idea. Last night we watched 50 First Dates. Oh, wow. I love that. That's such a good movie. I know. That's cute. Do you want to do any more acting or is that? Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Were you just so turned off by Charlie's Angel? Or... No, no, no. I had like, I just was the flag girl. Yeah. Um, I find acting interesting, but terrifying and i just really like to sing yeah so what is left on the the bucket list then i guess at this point of of your <laughs> career like is there an award you must get a, a venue you still haven't played a genre you want to dip a toe into any, any i feel like every go around is it's like a i don't know i don't i don't know what i'm doing until i do it to be honest and Every go around give, fills a part of me that I didn't know needed to be filled. And I get to do stadiums. I'm a mom and yeah. I get to do stadiums. And that's a huge accomplishment. And, and it's really fun. And we all have a really good time. And yeah. I'm really proud. I, I'm excited about this tour because my son will remember it. And he hasn't remembered any of them yet. And Willow does. Mm -hmm. And I love when they start to remember. And I think it's also awesome that they get to be around so many carnies, just people that have run away and joined the circus. Yeah, and yeah. it's a super diverse group of people. Yeah. That's cool. So I'm going to throw this out there. Don't get mad at me, but... Okay. Uh, I'll try. Halftime show? I, look, I know you turned it down in 2019. So did Rihanna, though. I and know. clearly she came back around. So would you ever consider it again? I never say never about anything. Okay. But the reason that I'm not interested in certain things, well, one, the political aspect of it, but yeah. also I feel like people, like, okay, if I don't like something, I'm going to be like, you know what? That's not for me, but that person worked really hard. And yeah. I respect that. Respect the game. And I don't feel like people do that anymore. I feel like people are like just waiting to trash stuff, waiting to tear it down. And I don't really need to do that. Why That's would I? True. I don't need. I did the national anthem. I helped the Eagles win. 
I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> It I, is true because I even I feel like with that. Rihanna, people were like, you know, saying what they were saying. Yeah, and, it's like and then the, the girl pregnancy is pregnant. Could, yeah. She's a mom. She's awesome. She worked hard. You don't have to love the show. Just give her props for what she did. I loved it personally. I yeah. thought it was amazing. Yeah. But start giving people more. Pro- like you do it. And I you feel get like, up there and do it. I, I want to like, see you hang on a platform that looks wildly unsteady. Yeah. That's it's also to me, that's more of a victory lap. It's not like tour mode per se. It's yeah. it's a celebration of the artist. I don't know. I, I, I thought so. she did great, too, but I liked it. OK, hypothetically, if you do it before we wrap, what is the one song you will not perform? No way at the halftime show. Duh, don't let me get me. OK, cool. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to hear it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I uh I'm a big fan of you. I'm a big fan of Thank you. your your family, everything you stand for. So Thank you. I'm so glad I got to meet you finally. And congratulations because your journey is just beginning. Oh, thank you. You have a daughter? I have a son, a son who's who has long three. hair and dresses up in dresses all the time. So, Perfect. And Great. we're at the mall, like in his dresses. So he Great. gets called thank you, a Dad. little girl all yeah, the time. Yeah, mine too. So. My son has long hair. He goes, Mama, everyone calls me a girl. I go, yeah, but you know how much, how much I hear, excuse me, sir, from behind? Yeah. T- I'm t- like, t- I don't t- care. It doesn't matter. Who cares? He goes, yeah. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Exactly. It matter. Exactly. I love it. Well, thank you. Maybe, maybe off camera, you could give me some tips. If you have any hacks, let me know. <laughs> Pink, ladies and gentlemen. Deep breaths. Thank you so much. Humor. Thank you. 